So we have completed our header and footer on this project. Now if I take a look at the responsive view, just have a look uh, at tablet and mobile devices. So for mobile devices, the header menu works perfectly and the footer also displaying here perfectly. If I take a look at the tablet, it also looks perfect. So now it's time to start making our home page. If you take a look at the design that I have created, so you can see here, uh, this is the home page and now it's uh, time to make this beautiful home page step by step. So we have globally added typography, color and some uh, blog elements. Now it's time to add our button globally. So this is the button. If you take a look at all the webs, all the sections, the button size is similar and the color that they are using right now, which is the black and white text, this button. And this, the ratio is uh, this one is uh, higher than the yellow and black. So I'll be using this black and white text button as global button. And when the yellow color comes, I'll be changing the yellow color from the button background uh, individually. Now let's navigate to our home page. And before start adding a button, you have to add the global button style. So for test purpose, I'm going to add just button to add the global button. Click on update. And now reload the home page. Currently the button looks like this. If you now wanted to edit this button globally, you have to navigate to the edit site. So I just opened a new tab here on my browser. Click over here, scroll down. Okay, so it looks like this. Um, I can simply type here home to see my button here. Now if I click over here, styles and block, you can see here there is all the blocks that you can customize them globally. Now I want to use only button from here. So if you want, you can customize the heading globally. You can customize the code, uh, other information or other blocks from here easily. Now let's select the button from here. Change the background color to black color. And the text color is white color, which looks perfect. Now let's navigate to the spacing. I select the button from here and understand how much space on the right and left side. So if I hover over, you can see here on the left and right 70 pixel, or you can take a look at here, which is uh, the left and right is horizontal padding, which is 70 pixel and vertical padding 24 pixel. So go back to the global button area add some padding on the left and right 70 pixel so you have to add custom padding and just click over here to set custom size 70 and the top and bottom 24 pixel now we are done with the button padding so if you just click on outline you can see the outline button looks like this it has the same padding but uh, it, it's just outline now let's take a look at the typography it's 22 pixel archivo bold let's add the typography here select the typography archivo and 22 pixel and also the appearance should be bold so we have completed our button here click on update and now if I reload this page, okay, so I don't know why it's not working. Okay, so you have to uh, change a little a small thing from the button that you have added here. When I select the button, go to the content and click over here, inherit from the theme because we have added global style inside the theme editor and that's why we have to inherit the style from the theme now click on update and reload the front page okay so reload again
and I assume that the button should work let's uh, take a look at here why the button is not working well uh, let's remove this one and add another button here so this one is the default button from wordpress itself i'm gonna reload this page again save and reload well now as you can see the button is now available so i can simply type here because i have added global button here so just take a look at here i have added global button style here but this page i haven't upload uh, updated yet after changing inside the editor and that's why uh, it looks different sometimes you might be confused and you have to understand what you're doing well uh, let's taste button add the button from spectra so now both of uh, them are working we are done with the button uh, global button here so now uh, i think i should uh, create another part for the hero area let's make another part for hero area uh, 